We know that there is a high concentration in this industry. We know that it, it creates capacity challenges, especially in beef, and there is a need for additional capacity. That's one of the reasons why uh, we began the process of establishing a $500 million fund. Uh, we have solicited information and input uh, from those who are interested in potentially utilizing this fund. We've received over 500 comments, and we're now in the process of analyzing those comments uh, in order to establish and structure the program. Uh, the expectation is that that structure will take place sometime before the end of the year and that we'll begin to make uh, decisions and, and uh, uh, investments hopefully in the first quarter of 2022. All put in place. Uh, we also uh, have taken a look at the opportunity to modernize existing facilities uh, with the resources established by Congress. Uh, we have over 245 uh, applications that are in the process of being reviewed now uh, for the 60, roughly $55 million available for that purpose. Uh, the goal here is obviously to strike a better balance between supply and demand, between processing capacity and competition, with greater transparency so that we can have a stable, dependent, and fair market. At the end of the day, uh, our department is anxious to have fair prices for producers and a fair deal for consumers. Well, we have two basic opportunities for the for folks who are getting into the business, the $500 million uh, program that was announced several months ago. Uh, and the loan guarantee program is really looking at, uh, at ways in which we can f help folks in the middle of the supply chain. Uh, there may be a need for cold storage. Uh, there may be a need for mobile uh, processing. There may be a need for farmers to work together cooperatively to brand and market a particular product. These resources would basically make it easier for banks, uh, CDFIs, to lend the money uh, to ha have an entity either get started or to expand or to improve uh, their operation. Right now, many uh, bankers, uh, many CDFIs are not really fully comfortable uh, knowing this, this area of the middle, uh, and so the loan guarantee makes it a little bit easier for them to make, uh, to make the loans available uh, across the board, but it's primarily designed at the middle of the supply chain uh, and then finally, uh, you know, to the extent that they might be interested in uh, coming together in a co-op uh, situation to build themselves and to, produce, and to be owners of a processing facility, they could potentially take advantage of the $500 million uh, program that we're, that we're setting up. So I think there's a number of places along the way uh, with specific focus on processing. Then there are, of course, a series of other uh, USDA programs, whether it's value-added producer grants or whether it's uh, business and industry loan guarantee programs that could potentially be used as well.